scientist who died just hours after getting what's believed to be a silicone injection as part of a butt lift. Her name was Claudia Say Adaratimi. Claudia Gomez here now. And Claudia, I know you've been looking into what exactly happened here. The victim and her friends apparently thought this was a safe procedure. Yeah, Lauren, we're hearing the victim or her friend had the procedure done last November, and it went without incident, so they returned for more. Police have questioned the woman who booked the appointments via the Internet. She lives in Bergen County up in northern Jersey. She has not been arrested, and police are still searching for her partner who actually administered the injection. All of this happened at the Hampton Inn Hotel near Philly International. The four Four women flew in last weekend. Two of them got what they were told were silicone injections on Monday. It didn't take long before the procedure turned tragic. There you see the victim's friends. The victim soon began having chest pains and had difficulty breathing. Her friends called for help, but Adarotimi was pronounced dead not long after, about 12 hours later. And Injecting liquid silicone or silicone gel is illegal in the United States and for good reason. It could lead to infections, blood clots, and as we're apparently seeing in this case, death. Police are looking at whether industrial grade silicone may have been used instead of medical grade. Industrial grade, Lauren, being the kind of stuff that you use to caulk your bathroom. This victim we know was a college student. She probably paid anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 for the procedure that's generally the going rate. Here's what I don't understand. A quick Google search shows that it's illegal in this country. Yeah, and in the U.K. and in most Western countries. But there is a big black market for it, which these young women appear to have tapped into. Take a look at this. This is what we found this morning. You will find plenty of people warning against getting silicone injections and the damage they can do, but right by those posts are more from people wanting the injections and others offering them for much cheaper than a plastic surgeon. Right now, the only medically approved way to pump up your butt is with implants or fat injections, fat taken from other parts of your body. It is expensive, as much as $10,000. So women and men resort to the Internet where they can get the injection for a fraction of the cost. These illegal procedures are often done in hotel rooms or private homes. That should be a giant red flag that tells you the person performing the injections is not a licensed medical professional. But finding someone who will sell the in in silicone injections, Lauren, as you can see there, is just not very difficult. Mm, such a troubling story. Claudia yeah. Gomez, thank you for that.